Hello, my name is Dr. Sims, and today I will be telling you how I would design the Sims 4 Create a World tool. Yes, I know there are mods that let you create the world, it, actually the only one, but nonetheless, that's not really the same energy, you know? It's not really creating your own world. Now, a problem with the Sims 4 is that, well, fun fact, it's closed world, and mostly set dressing in all the neighborhoods. And I think that is very interesting, you know? And you got trains, whatever. Anyway, speaking about the neighborhoods in general, we do not have cars. As you know, in fact, we just don't have them in general. And it's really sad, but whatever. You, you can only go so far. You can only go from the end of your street and on this crosswalk thing. But then, nope, no more further than that. And yes, I don't like that either, but... I mean, we can't really help what EA did, you know? Because EA, because Maxis is dead. Anyway, as you can see here, you know, this thing, this, uh, canal, I think? Yes. That, that's surrounding this whole area, okay? And then you have these set dressing houses. So, we know that there's a lot of set dressing, and, hey, set dressing can be good if it's not done too much but a lot of the issue is that everybody says you know we can't do the sims 4 create a world because well there's a problem with you know being a closed world and i disagree with you on that actually and we can make it like the sims 3 and really make it cool and let me show you right now Now, in The Sims 2, uh, you, you're only on one lot. Sorry, sorry about that. You are only on one lot. This was your lot. You could not leave here unless you had a phone and you could only go to community lots. I don't like that, but most, the big part that I'm trying to say is that you only had one lot and then it still looked pretty open in 3D because all these buildings were in like low res, you know, and they weren't, you couldn't just go here, you know? Like, these were, like, low-res buildings, but you can still see them, and that's my point. You can still see the buildings, and The Sims 4 still kind of has that. You can see the buildings that are close to you, you know? But, like, you can see the whole world like this. Here, let me get a neighborhood view. In the neighborhood, as you can see right here, it looks pretty 3D. And I know The Sims 4 will never get that, but you can see here, you can still see the whole city. You can still see the whole city if you wanted to. And what I'm trying to say is that you can still see the other houses. And I know people are going to hate me, but it could be like Bat 2, you know? Bat 2, you can still see the other sections, but you can also see your own. And it works a little bit differently, but... Nonetheless, you can still see the buildings, and that's what I'm trying to say. Now, the big question is, it's the closed world. How are we going to do that? And I'll tell you right now. So, as you can see in this video, there are different districts in City Skylines. I'm sorry, I couldn't get my actual game to work. But anyway, like there's different districts as you can see from the bottom down here there's different districts you know so say hey i want to have a new district all you gotta do is really just paint the area and what i mean by that is like wait pause for a second what i mean by this is how we could we could really revolutionize the situation and make like say if you were in this person's district linden district you could only be in that section, but it'd be smaller than this, okay? This is just a full built city. But Linden District, for example, uh, that would be like uh, uh, Foundry Cove in Willow Creek. And it'd be that small little section, but you can still see the other lots, they're just in low res. And, like, not even really there. And then we have another option. I want to talk to you. Now, somebody named Has a Plumbobs came up with this. Like, this is their concept. 
very similar to mine, I think. And I agree with them on many points, so I might as well read this out loud to you. World setup. Like, has a plumb bob, has this whole idea. Like, you could, like, start a new project, edit project, you know? So, you could do that. And the setup menu, you know? Is it a residential world or a vacation world? You could set the time that you could do that. And then you can have map size, okay? See, if you wanted to create something like uh, the vampire place or uh, the realm of magic place, like Glimmerbrook or whatever, here, you would choose tiny. If you want a small place, you would choose Delso Valley. Medium, probably Muller Creek. And large, it could be like Windenburg, you know? And then you could choose the height. You could choose the height. Maybe it's shallow, maybe it's medium, maybe it's tall. You know? And custom greetings. Yeah, and that'd be kind of cool, you know? And, like I said, like, pedestrian traffic. You could see people, like, townies in your street. Like, do you want them there or not, you know? This would be great. Like, say if you wanted to have, like, a whole Let's Play, like, being stranded on an island. You don't have to have any talent in that town. That could just be you, you know? So many ideas flooding out. Vehicle traffic. Such whether or not cars will spawn on roads. How many or few there will be. And how fast they'll be. So, like, you could choose none. Because, like, we don't have cars, so... Yeah. And then pet spawning. You know? And all this stuff. And, like, climate controls. Like, it's it a hot place. And other things that they're not mentioning here, like, say, uh, let's go to get famous, you know? Do you want to turn celebrities on or off here? Uh, let's talk about, uh, eco-lifestyle, I think. Yeah, eco-lifestyle, do you want to, like, do you want to turn that on or off, you know? And we already have that option in the game, but, like, in general, you know? And could have all these things, like, and, uh, even with the newest one, uh, Snow Escape, uh, it could be, like, can they ski here? And it would create, like, a whole skiing section for you. Like, it can be simple, too. I mean, really. I'm about to show you an example of how. Okay? And, like, na naming the options. All you gotta do, like, it's so simple. Thank you has a plumb box for this. But all you gotta do is, like, type the words, you know, and then... Type of description, like, Willow Creeks is, like, rolling plantation land. And then, and even back in the options menu for a second. Like, you could, uh, you could see, say, how many districts there are. Maybe there's two, maybe there's three, maybe there's six, you know? You never know. Like, limit of three neighborhoods. Like, that would be, like, your, your option. And, like, each neighborhood would be the section, you know? I kind of disagree with her right here, or him, who knows, but you could, like, build a city and zone, like I said earlier, like I showed you earlier, actually, and, like, you could choose a theme, I mean, I mean, it could be more like the, uh, new thing, but, you could be like, oh, actually, I want blah, blah, blah. And, like, you could choose the theme, and it would open up, like, a blank map that fits that theme. Like, a desert map, maybe they've already done everything, and it's not as complex as the Sims 3 creator world. And you could be like, oh, wait, now, that's how the city will spawn. I don't know about that, but you could choose, like, how the clouds work. All that. You could choose the sky color, okay? Now, I think that's a little bit much, since Sims wouldn't do that, but... Either way, same thing, you know? Now, here's the real part. World edit mode. It would be just like The Sims 3. You could be like, here's my terrain tools. Here's how they would work. And you can make hilly areas. And you could make plants or world objects. You could create a whole thing. And you could have toolbox buttons. You could delete it. All that. You can add roads, add bridges, add lots. And then edit in game, which is very much like The Sims 2. But really, just look at this. I mean, let's be real. This should exist, you know? You could have roads, you could have bridges, you could have all this stuff. Now, I personally feel like it'd be an actual simulation game. 
like how you could like choose the rows or whatever. Like there would be a little option menu at the bottom that would be like, hey, FYI, you can use these little roadblocks and kind of snap them together like train sets, maybe. Or you can have it like a real building simulator and just build a road. Not like in The Sims 3, because we don't have cars, but it would be very similar, you know, because that's just, this is just for decoration right now. But like she said, you could connect the dots, and that could be like pretty much every simulation game. You just draw the road the way you want it to be. Make it flat, like you you can choose different options, and you can even raise the terrain up or whatever. Now for ridges. Yeah, that could very much be a thing, you know? Yeah, and like you could choose all the world objects, okay? We have more packs now, so even if you did want it to kind of be like EA and just like put some fake stuff in the background, you know, you could do that. Uh, you could do these different things. You could choose, hey, you know what, I want that. Great, let's do it. And it'd be so easy, and just put these things in, you know? Like, I really agree with her on this. And you could put, like, lot place. Now, I don't want it to be like The Sims 3, where you got to be like, oh, here's how big the lot could be. Because you could do it right here, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, it's just the grief with you completely. Person's so right. Yeah, see? And you could create your own map. Yeah, you could create your own map. And even if you don't have that, EA would have presets. There would be preset maps. Like, oh, here. Let me show you right now. Now, EA, um, uh, band made maps for Sims 4. Look at these different things. Like, EA could have one that looks like this. You can, yeah, you could have one that looks like this. Like, it would, it would mostly have to be 3D, to be honest, though. But it's be, it would be okay. That would be, like, in a... That'd just be, like, in your custom neighborhoods. And it'd still look good. Or you could just be like this. And just be like, oh, these are the different options. And look, it would work so nicely. You know? You could, you could do this. You could even customize and make your own. That would look like this or whatever. And you can make yours look like this. Like, you know? You could do all these different things. And let me show you how it was in previous games. So we can kind of get a full answer about how it would be. Like, see, it could even look like this. It could be 3D. You know? Now, this is actually an early prototype of the actual Sims 4 maps. But see, it's not too hard to look at. And those would be, like, different zoned areas. And this would be one neighborhood, second, third. You know? Like, it works. It works. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And credits to all these people and Plasma Sims. Now, this would be how the creative world, like, placements would be. So, yeah. And, uh, also, in case you didn't know, The Sims 3 had a creative world tool. Now, it would work differently, like I said. But, uh, you, you could choose the things. Now, like I said, mine would be more like a real city simulator or whatever. But, yeah, you could choose that, you could choose, like, what it looks like, and then, boom. And it, like she said in hers, like, there'd be different, like, terrain options, and you could sculpt the different things. You could be like, oh, I want a valley. How about we just go, woo, there's a valley. Great. Now, of course, you would do more detail, or whatever. But, it's the same thing. So, uh, yeah. And, you know, and you could be like, oh, you know what? I think I want to paint it. What color? Uh, I want to make it a sand. Boom, look, there's, there it is, sand. It's sand now. Great. And in The Sims 3, you could really choose the environment. You know, you could be like, oh, actually, I'm going to do a Oh. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I know why. I didn't add a layer. Usually that wouldn't happen. You know. Oh yeah, technically that's not even supposed to be used.
Edit in game mode. Okay, whatever. Usually it doesn't work like this, to be honest. Okay, buddy, we get it. Add a layer. Sorry, I forgot to do that. You could be like, oh, actually, I want a barn. Here, you could like really choose the individual objects, even if you wanted to. You could be like, oh, actually, then I want a beetle spawner. And these would be the spawner objects. They'd be like, oh, there's little spawner objects. And you could be like, oh, actually, I want a billboard in my city. Let's create the Martin McFly city. And then it would be like, oh, you want that? There you go. See, like, just, it upsets me that EA can do this. Okay. Roads. I do not want them to be like The Sims 3 roads. If they ever decide to do this. I mean The Sims 3, like, create a world worlds. Because I just don't like them, you know? Like, half the time you'll mess it up if you stop. So I want there to be connection things. I want you to be able to connect the roads. And I mean, we could do lots the same way as in The Sims 3. Create a world. You could be like, oh, I want this lot. And now, of course, you would choose from the objects menu, like, uh, I said, and usually you would, and you could choose, like, community lot, you could even make the hospital in your game, but that probably would be too much, you wouldn't do that, but see, look, you could be like, oh, yeah, and you could put a bunch of set dressing, like, oh, I just, I just want these, uh, I just want these, that, and you could be like, and actually, you know, you gotta have a train. And you could be like, oh, and I've been thinking, let's have a Chinese local tree. Sorry about, sorry about that. <laughs> but like I said, Chinese maple trees. You could do this. And you could do this so easily. It wouldn't even be hard at all, actually. It could just be like, oh. And like, yeah, you could create different things, you know? And, and it doesn't have to be exactly like this. But here, I'm going to... I'm going to symbolize. Now, this is not how I want it to work. Like I showed you earlier, I want it to actually look good or whatever. But say, say for example, this was the Sims 4, create a world tool. You have, you would have this blue thing, and you could, like, circle around the area that you wanted it to be. It could be like, um, uh, it could be like, oh, yep, and here it is. You know? You can be like, oh, this is the whole building. Now, of course, I kind of messed up there, because, of course, you would have the whole, like, thing. But, like, it'd be a circle, you know? Like I showed you earlier. And then, boom, this is your town. Now, let me open one of my towns, okay? Let me open one of my towns to show you how it could end up, you know? After placing all the objects or whatever, placing the bridge, placing the military objects, placing all the trees, it could be like this. You could put the, uh, and if you have city living, like, the more packs, the better for creating the world. Because, like, say, oh, oh, okay, I want the city living, uh, apartment shelves everywhere. And it could be like that. It doesn't even, not all the buildings even have to be used, you know? There could also be some set dressing. What's wrong with that? It's not the whole thing. Done. But anyway, like after you po did everything, boom, you can have a beautiful city. You know, the sailboat things around everywhere. <gasps> they just got into a wreck. Like I know The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 are completely different games. Like the one thing they have similar is The Sims, and that you can do things with them. I mean, one is more rich in gameplay, one is more good looking. But yeah, and like you don't have to have it, could be like a 2D map, like I said. It, it wouldn't have to be exactly like this. And look, I kind of demonstrated it here in the city that I built. You could, you could kind of make the roads your circle, you know? And then everything else would be low res. It'd be like, it'd be like going far away in The Sims 3. It'd be like just like that, you know? Sorry if you can hear my mouse, which I know you can. So, yeah, sorry. But, yeah. You could really create this place to be cool. And then... Even, you could, it could even be accessible for mods, you know? It could be like, oh, oh, I'm gonna create a mod. Also, if y'all can see what time it is, congratulations. But you're seeing this tomorrow. Anyway, this is just the plan, you know? It's just, and like, yeah, I know, 
And uh, in Planet Zoo, you can even like raise the water. Like it could be like that, so it'd be so easy to create a wave. Like it's, it's it wouldn't be like The Sims Three, where you can just be like, oh, oh, I, I'm I'm gonna, cause you know they're very different games. Okay, I doubt EA would give us the sculpt option, cause they can't even figure out how to give us lakes. So I, it would have to be like the uh, Planet Coaster games. See, boom, look at that. And there's water. No, I'm gonna flatten because that doesn't go with my city. At all, actually. But still, either way, it should exist. Not everybody's gonna use it, and I know that. I know that not everybody's gonna use the Creative World tool. But it's sickening that there's only three base game worlds. You know? It's sickening. It's sickening, you know? Like, yes, I get it. In The Sims 3, it was the same way. And then, I mean, The Sims too it was the same way but you could create your own world so you weren't stuck with that if you didn't have any expansion packs you know and in the sims 3 same way you only get one world two if you get the store one that they give you for free and that's only two but yet they had the if they really wanted to they could create their own world and they didn't have any packs you know and i get it ea knowing them would be money hungry for this okay it wouldn't be free like they were so nice to give us in The Sims 3. It would be a lot of money. Maybe not a lot of money. More like $10. Okay, let's be real. But anyway, you guys would, we would probably pay for that, okay? Like, to be honest, people probably would pay for that. Because it's, it's sad, you know. It's sad. But here, like I'm kind of showing you right now, districts. Like, your road could be your circular for your district. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Or if you like planet, or not planet coaster, or if you like planet, uh, no, never mind, city skylines, where you can create your own district, you know? And it's crazy, you know? It's crazy that we don't already have a creative world tool. I mean, I get it, we're almost done with the game, so why would you? But that's not the attitude we should have, okay? That should just be in the game, because we deserve it, okay? They don't realize sometimes who actually pays the bills at that place, and it's us. So just listen to us and make this. Would it really be that hard to create this whole thing? Okay, no, I don't think so. Because you all already have the objects that you can place down, and it'll be pretty much the same interface as the Sims 3 version, and what I've shown you in the examples. So, yeah, I don't see why this isn't a reality. And it's sad. But... As you can see by the different things, you know, it's crazy that they don't exist. But, uh, I'm here for you now. Anyway, that's all for this today's episode. If you like this video, please like it. And if you want, you can even subscribe, you know, because that would help me out a lot. And maybe even push, and maybe actually, use a hashtag, actually. Use hashtag... Sims for C A W. You know, because we, yes, we have a mod, but it's not the same. It's not the same. In fact, it's difficult. You know? So, anyway, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace out.